husband decided to sleep out because of how peppery I feel inside my bone. It would be so peppery to the extent that I would, sometimes I would have to leap because the pain was so severe. When I told the medical personnel, he said it's normal, but I know it is abnormal to me. And I told God that God, this thing must not persist. And yesterday, the thing went a little bit. But after the counseling and I went back to my seat, in fact, I didn't even meet the beginning of the prayer. But before the prayer of the man of God, I felt so relieved. I had to press the place that, is this a dream? I pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed. The place was not paining me, paining me again. I can't feel the peppery place again. I can't feel the pain again at all. Praise the Lord! Amen! She has the victory, freedom from peppery sensation. You are forever freed in Jesus' name. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the devil, he has given me victory. I will lift him higher, higher Jehovah, I will lift him. I say he giving you victory, higher Jehovah. He has given me victory. Amen. The next testifier. Please, let's bring them to the center. They should come up a little bit for all to see them. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. No one can tell my joy this evening because truly I've seen the miracle of God. I woke up on the 21st of this month, like that's the Monday, and I discovered I had a lump at the back of my neck and that pain had been so severe. I had to tell my grandma, she had to add an um, ointment on my neck and then the pain transferred all over my neck. I could not hold my neck. And then I told God that this pain came at the very wrong time because our pastor is going to be coming to Ibadan, the Alpha location. And this evening after the, um, after the um, counseling and everything, I told God that God, I must not leave this crusade ground without collecting my miracle, without receiving my miracle. And I laid my hand on my neck and when the pastor prayed, to my greatest surprise, at the end of this prayer, I can now turn my neck. What I could not do before, I can now do it. Praise the Lord! What's your and name? I, my name is Usoku Glory from Igbo Group of Districts, Mokola District. Thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Swelling with pain disappeared in the neck, from the neck. Amen. If you are still there, don't waste your own time. Check your body. Something has happened to you. Did you hear when the man of God said, it is done. And surely it is done. You check it up, you will find it so. Next testifier, please. Quickly, let's sir, give him the phone to testify, the microphone to testify. Oshé, 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 Baba, Oshé, 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 Baba. Oshé, atukwe o, hallelujah. Oshé, baba, oshé, oshé o, oshé o, oshé ba. Amen. Now let's hear the testimony. Let somebody help us. 
Praise the Lord. To hold the microphone. Praise Jesus. Yeah, uh, I thank God for bringing me for this uh, program this evening. Uh, when we are coming this evening. Your name? Uh, oh, my I name. My name is uh, Brother David Otitolaye from Lagos. But I'm here on a holiday at Goodness. So this Baba was close to our area and we have talked to him. We have, he has decided that today he'll be here. Around 3 o'clock, he was at the, uh, the Sokun bus stop waiting for us. And as soon as we came, little after 4, he joined our vehicle and we were coming here. In fact, before, because it was a car he brought, he could not even enter. Because he could not even trek, he was so weakened. Then we believe that miracle will surely happen. Then uh, we got here as we were praying. As we were praying, he stood up and uh, uh, by the special grace of God, we realized that his condition was much more better. The Baba got up and started walking around and started walking around. We asked him to sit down, but I said, no, no, you cannot sit down. That uh, It's like uh, something is itching his body and he's ready to just move everywhere. I said, ah, is it real? I'm seeing this thing for the first time really. So then he was started moving. The whole of the area over there was shaking. And the Baba said he could trek to this place. I said, can you do that? And he threw his uh, crutches. Uh, the crutches out and he was just moving here. We are following up to that point of it here. Uh, Put your hands together for Jesus. Oshe, 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 Baba, Oshe, 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 Baba, Oshe, 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 Baba. Amen. Next testifier. The man is walking. You can see. Someone who had not been able to walk alone by himself before without crutches is walking. You can see him doing it. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Ojo Daniel Oluwashio. I have never experienced a raw miracle like this in my life. Before I came here just a few days ago, I had a very pain all over my body because I did the walk, so it was so it was too much. So uh, there was this pain all over my body, even while I was here. During the prayer, I was still feeling it, even during the counseling section. But during the counseling session, I was praying, God, you must do something definite in my life. And as I was, the pastor was just praying, I rose up my hand. You know, I just felt like, okay, let me just stretch my hand. I stretched my hand. Every pain disappeared. I could not even feel any pain again. Right now, everything is just hey, normal. What's your name? Your address? You forgot. My name is Daniel Ojo Oluwashin. I came from Ilori. I came from a program. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Those who are going home, you need to wait and hear the last testimony because your own is also included in the pack of the testimony. Now, we want to listen to some testimonies from the social media platforms. Yes, we have various testimonies on, on, on online because we are currently celebrating the freedom that Christ has given. And then we'll be taking a few of them now. From the GS Facebook page, um, Oloyede Ayodele testify of how God healed her through the prayer of the man of God. She has been suffering from severe pain at her jaw. And after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. We have this also from Facebook. This is coming in from Lanre Michael Ibeme. Lance Michael Ibeme. He says that his wife is healed from serious abdominal pain after the prayers of the man of God. And now she is free from the abdominal pains. Praise the Lord. Indeed, there is total freedom and testimonies going on on the Facebook page. Here is another testimony from Elizabeth Akinlabi, who testified of how God, through the man of God, has healed her from puffy eyes. 
and to God be the glory the puffy eyes has God. I will have this from you too. This one is coming in from Abigail Adeweso, who says that during the prayer, that she, before then, she has been feeling this serious headache. Whenever she laughs or whenever she does.